Hey guys, Johnny Guns here with a quick tutorial on fixing the D3D error for H1Z1's King of the Kill on Windows 7. The first thing we want to check is if your installation of Windows 7 has Service Pack 1 installed. Navigate to your Start button, right click on Computer, then click Properties. You'll be able to tell right off the bat if you have Service Pack 1 installed. You can clearly see the information here, right under Windows Edition. If you don't have the Service Pack 1 installed, locate the first link in this video's description to get the update. Scroll down just a bit to find the link to get the update installer downloading. Once you've selected the right download for your Windows operating system, go ahead and let that install. If you already have Service Pack 1 installed, skip the first link and click on the second link in the description. Now select the appropriate file type for your operating system. This shouldn't take too long to download. After you've finished with the installer, you have to restart Windows. After the restart, let it do its thing until you're fully booted back into Windows. This will take just a bit. There! That should have solved the D3D error you were having before. Now, one last thing I want to show you for getting the game not to be permanently locked into full screen, as I often alt-tab out of any game I play, especially while streaming. In your Steam client, right-click on H1Z1, then click on Properties all the way at the bottom. Then click on the Local Files tab here. Now click on Browse Local Files. A file browser window will pop up. Scroll almost to the bottom of this window and look for the useroption.ini file. If you have experience with this kind of thing before, you can customize what resolution and what type of window slash full screen mode you would like. I've left my window to 1080p settings in the description below. All you have to do is copy the settings and paste over the current display settings. Now all you have to do is save the file. There! Now you'll be able to alt-tab out of the game without having it minimize every time. Man, that was annoying. This has been a Johnny Guns production. We appreciate your viewership and encourage you to leave feedback on our videos. Thank you, and have a great day!